Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. You know, I used to read my homework and my textbooks, and because I had literally zero interest in school, what I would read would go in one ear and right out the other. Do you think the Bible is the same way? Listen to what Jesus says in John chapter 14. He says, These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. What did Jesus say that he has given you? His word, which we know is the Bible, right? And he's given us the Holy Spirit. Plus, what he says is the Spirit is going to help you remember God's word. So, because I think right now a lot of us are looking for answers, looking for direction, trying to find truth, Jesus says, hey, if you go to my word, then the Holy Spirit will be your teacher, which means that God will be your teacher. And you could say, well, you know, what if I make a choice or a decision and I still make the wrong choice? You know what? That's going to happen. You're going to make a mistake. Reading the Bible is no guarantee that your life is going to be perfect, but that's how we learn. We learn from making mistakes. But I promise you, if you have the Word of God in your heart, then the next time you have to make a decision, the Spirit is going to prompt you to make the wisest one. The decision will come from the Holy Spirit and He will say, you know what? This is what God says. See, when you read the Bible daily, you are programming your heart, you are programming your mind to think and live and breathe the way that God does. But if you don't have the Word of God in your heart, then what happens? Well, then you make choices based off of how the world thinks. And you are daily bombarded with messages and supposed truths and supposed fixes from the world, TV, the internet, your friends at work. It's information overload. Now compare that to the small amount of time you spend reading the Bible. Which one do you think will overpower the other? If the Christian isn't careful, the world's view is going to overpower God's and then you really will make wrong and unhealthy decisions. See, I believe every one of us should be reading the Word of God daily. Holy Spirit, please remind me. What should you read? Where should you start? Anything. Read any part of the Bible. Read anywhere. Start wherever you like. It's all good. The more you read the Bible, the more God's thoughts are going in, and then the more you are daily being renewed. Listen, you can't live a godly life if this book never opens. You can't live the life that God wants you to live if this book never opens. At Walden Church right now, we're in a series about living your best life. And we believe that living your best life is with the Bible open. Come and join us on Sunday. We have a 9.30 service. It's a traditional service with our choir. And our 11 o'clock service is our contemporary service with our worship team. And at that time, we also have children and youth group. I hope to see you there.